Did you think lockdown was going to be easy <laughs> in that we have special time with family and friends and I'll be able to do all the things that I have been wanting to do for ages and never have a moment to do it. But actually I've found it's not quite as easy as what you thought. Well, then you're not alone. My name's Angela Verena and just through counseling couples and families and adults, I'm very passionate about helping people make meaningful connections with people that are significant to them. And I just know that this time can either be where, a time where we make meaningful memories with one another, precious moments of connection, or we can come through barely holding on to our sanity, just go, please let this end, and it seems to be extended all the time. And yet, at the same time, every one of us have a real need for connection. And it's something that is not just one big event, which is actually good news for those of us who are working and juggling quite a lot of balls and homeschooling and doing our work responsibilities. Connection is not just one event. It's actually countless small events with many threads to it, which actually are very possible for all of us, no matter what we're facing. And the amazing thing is, whether you are on your own at home, whether you have a house full of friends and housemates, or you are a family, connection can happen. That's what technology is such a blessing to us. But at the same time, I want to encourage people who are at home alone that the tips I'm going to give you are possible even with the neighbor across the wall, doing it the old-fashioned way, challenging them to some of these things and saying, let's go for it, you know. So some of the tips are really just practical things to, to create memories and do things that our families and friends are not used to doing. So first of all, households. This can be friends, flatmates, multi-generational families. We need to have fun together. We need laughter sprinkled in between the seriousness of what our world is facing. And so things like dressing up fancy for dinner. Most of us are staying in tracksuit pants the whole day. Dressing up fancy, making fancy meals, cooking is a really fun thing to do. Uh, the program Chopped is a bit of an inspiration. We did this the other day where you have five ingredients, basic ingredients that are in your home. And every person in the home has to make a meal out of that. And then it gets judged. Our youngest judged the, the rest of us. There's four, uh, there were four meals on the table. And what was an interesting result is that my 11 year old daughter won the competition. And me, who's the one who cooks every night, came last. So I have a little bit of work to do there. But uh, cooking together, even doing that across households would be fun. Um, bringing your mattresses into the lounge and having a Christmas bed in April. Children absolutely love that. Telling stories, uh, really um, making our sp interchanging changing our spaces up, you know. Also things like dancing. Sometimes we become a little bit serious as we get older and dancing to different kinds of music, doing dance offs and challenging each other to different dance moves is really a time where we can enjoy each other in ways we don't usually get to. Things like board games, trick shots. Trick shots are fun. They really level the playing field no matter what the age um, of the, the family members are or the friends and even skill and uh, even with children you know getting down to their level creating uh, obstacle courses in your homes taking your precious dining room table and saying let's climb under it climb over it climb under the bed and timing ourselves even if the adults want to join in that's actually first prize um, and then as couples, I think this can also be quite a stretching time for couples. You know, we, we're not used to spending so much time in each other's space. And sometimes we can feel like, what have we got left to say? So conversation starters, they're all over the internet. Conversation starters which stimulate either frivolous information about each other or actually more deeper, meaningful things to share. And I really want to encourage you across the age groups, those things are very, very helpful. Another thing is the highs and lows of our day. And then even for couples to get out your wedding albums and your wedding DVDs and reminisce and play the music when you fell in love are all things that create bonds between us during times that are tough. And then just lastly on connection, you know, connection is something that every person needs, even if we're not quite aware of it. And it takes intention to actually create those meaningful connections. And uh, I really hope that these tips help you. They 
maybe stimulate you to your own ideas and uh, create initiative amongst your households to make this a very precious time that we come through and go, this is a time that we made the most out of it and we came through stronger.